Happy Holidays! My name is Lindy Haas of Love the Day, a site dedicated to parties, printables, and DIYs. Recently I was on the Rachel Ray Show with Michaels and I wanted to share here on my YouTube channel how I created these gifts. On the show we did a segment of last minute gift giving and I wanted to teach you how to make this Merry Christmas box for your friends and neighbors um, during this holiday season. And also how to make this adorable button star to put in the Christmas box to not only give your friends the gift of DIY, but also a DIY present. Like always, you can find this Merry Craftsmas printable in my shop at lovethedayshop.com. To start off, we're gonna make this button ornament. I brought in our resident crafting expert to help us out. This is my daughter, Ellison. Come on in, Ella. She's the one that helped me decide to do these crafts for our neighbors because this year's been hard. What have you missed the very most? Um, I miss playing with my friends and play dates, and I miss my grandparents. We do miss our grandparents. Let's get started on this ornament. Ella, what do we need to make this craft? Okay, we need Mod Podge. Yes, we do. We need seed beads. Mm -hmm. We need some colorful buttons. We added pink because we love pink at Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. It's our favorite. <laughs> I have this cute wooden ornament for Michaels. Okay, perfect. Ella, what do we do next? We're gonna put a heavy layer of Mod Podge on the Christmas tree. Yes, and then we need to place these buttons really quickly on the star because as the Mod Podge starts to dry, the buttons adhere to the star. So go ahead, Elle. She's gonna coat that, and she's gonna start putting some buttons on the ornament. Now that Ella has finished placing the buttons on her star, we're going to add the seed beads. Um, she's chosen an array of red and shimmery white. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the seed beads around the buttons. There might be Mod Podge on your buttons, and that's perfectly okay. Mod Podge dries clear, and so it may look messy while you're crafting it. It's perfectly fine. It will dry and look perfect when it's finished. If the beads fall on top of the buttons, that's fine. Just use your finger and move them over to the to the blank space. Ooh, I like that. Um, those clear beads are kind of like snow. There we go. The most important part of this craft, and probably the most difficult, is letting it dry. Oh, see, you get excited and you move those beads and buttons. So we're gonna set this aside and let it dry for a while. Ella, thank you for your help. I just have a white shipping box that I got at the post office and I'm going to grab some painter's tape and start taping off stripes. And I'm just gonna start marking off this box like you would paint a wall. And I just carry it all the way down. As you can see, I've got three stripes here. I'm gonna remove that middle stripe because this is where we are going to paint. So as you can see, I have this top of the box all the way taped. I'm gonna go ahead and start taping the sides as well. And once everything's all taped off, I'll start to paint the stripes different colors. Now that our box is all taped off, we are gonna start to paint some of these stripes. It may require a few layers, but it dries really fast on this card, um, this cardboard. So um, any colors you like work great. Go ahead and let your creativity go wild. So the ornament has dried. We've attached some ribbon onto the ornament so our friends can hang it on their tree. And we're gonna start working on our box. Now our box has been completely painted, it's dried, and this is like the most satisfying, amazing part. We get to slowly remove the tape and look at those amazing peppermint lines.
right, now that our box is all finished and festive, we're gonna go ahead and decorate the inside and fill it. So you go ahead and open this up. And what I've done is I have um, made a sign that says, wishing you a Merry Craftsmas. And we're gonna hot glue it right here on the opening flap. So when our neighbors open it up, they will see that um, punny clever sign and know that we are thinking about them. Okay, we are gonna start filling our Merry Christmas box. Elle's got some paper shred. Go ahead, get the shred kiddo. She's gonna put it in there. Okay, and then what I've done is I went to Michael's. I actually ordered online. They have the cutest craft kits for kids to do this season. So I bought a bunch for our neighbors to put in our craftness box. We're gonna fill it up. important part what do we put on top bell the star we're gonna put our homemade star on the top so when our friends open it they will know not only will they have the gift of diy this christmas but we have created something special for their tree we're gonna go ahead and shut this put a bow on and deliver ella you ready to deliver yes okay let's do it and that's a wrap that is how you make a Merry Christmas box for the loved ones in your lives. Like I mentioned, you can get this printable on my site, and then you can also get the full tutorial on my blog at lovetheday.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.